Hey and welcome to the Scandivan channel. Today you're joining us as we fit our new Sportscraft Knock on Top Swivel Blade Kit. Now this is undoubtedly the best kit available on the market. Uh, it's TUV approved, fully tested and very very good quality. You can see here that the instructions are in English are obviously sold separately but it's a fairly easy installation. Now this is a great way to really improve the space available in your multivan. So let's get into it. We will be fitting this swivel plate to a 2015 Volkswagen T5 multivan, also known as the Caravelle. Now this model has airbags in the seats, so the first thing we will need to do is open the bonnet and disconnect the battery. Don't worry too much about losing the radio code. In this model, it's okay for the battery to be disconnected for several hours. The only thing we needed to do afterwards was to reset the clock. So, okay, let's move inside the van. Start by moving the chair all the way forward by pulling this lever to give yourself good access to the nuts on the back. looking from the rear of the vehicle. You should now be able to see the seat runners where the bolts connect to the seat base. Lift and gently pull up this plastic cover which should just lift away. Using a ratchet and a 30mm socket start to remove the seat runner bolts Note that on this model there is a connector block mounting and there's two allen key headed bolts that you see will also be, need to be screwed and removed. Take your time and be careful not to drop the bolts, you don't want to lose these. Now let's go around to the front of the seat. If you struggle to get your socket on the bracket, use the seat sliders to push the seat now backwards. Once you have all the bolts removed, it's time to gently remove the seat, but be careful, it's heavy. And make sure you do this gently because the airbag cable and the seat heater cable is still attached. Now here you can see the airbag cable and the seat heater cables. These are the black cables going to the seat the airbag cable is the yellow connector. Treat this with care. Although the battery is disconnected, you don't want to damage this. Unbolt the connector blocks from the housing bracket. You can reposition this easily. This will give you some additional handy storage space under the rear of the seat baits. The design of this seat base allows you to fit something underneath the seat in the future, like a leisure battery or additional storage. Once you've repositioned the cables here, secure them with cable ties. This will minimize the chance of them rubbing on metal surfaces or getting damaged by touching parts that they wasn't originally designed to touch.
the next step is to click the subscribe button below. Then you make sure that you can see much more videos from van life in the Nordics. Don't forget to hit the like button when you click the subscribe button also. By the way, the temperature up here today is minus 9 degrees Celsius when we're doing this. So you can see I only have rubber gloves on. But hopefully it will be warmer when you do this to your own van. Okay, so now you can lift on the very heavy swivel plate for a test fit. Be careful of your back and watch your fingers here. You see here that I put the disconnected seat heated cables straight through the swivel hole. Don't do this. It's a much better idea to first protect these cables. Put some additional plastic cable wrap and secure with PVC electrical tape. Once you've wrapped the cables, you'll be much less likely to snag them or damage them when you're swiveling the seat base. Like I said before, treat the airbag cable with respect. You don't want to put on the airbag light. If you've ever made the mistake of disconnecting an airbag while the battery is still attached, you know what I'm talking about. Tell me your horror stories in the comments down below. You'll notice that there's also four black nylon bushes which the plate sits on and swivels upon. This design increases stability and this is the reason why the, this type of swivel plate rocks and rattles much less than others. When it looks like this, we're ready to go. Now let's try again. Let's feed the now protected airbag and heated seat cables through the center nut in the swivel plate. Now rest the swivel plate onto the seat base. Align it on the studs. Make sure you pull the cable through and that it can attach freely. Lift the release handle and gently push it over to one side. By swiveling like this, you will make it much easier to bolt all of the bolts and nuts back on. Now you can reconnect the heated seat and the airbag cable connectors. Check that they're properly connected at least twice. And then check them again. This is important. Now it's time to bolt it all back together. You will notice the original nuts and bolts no longer really fit. The bolts are too short and the nuts are the wrong shape. That's why with this kit you get supplied some domed nuts and the correct bolts. These swivel kits are slightly more expensive than competitors. But these small attention to details makes it worth paying for. You know it's going to be safe. The new style of bolts have an Allen key head. This means you can tighten them well, but be careful not to over tighten them. You really don't want to strip the thread here. Once you've tightened the bolts on the front, move to the back. But be careful of your fingers at this point because the chair can slide off slightly and you don't want to get your fingers stuck underneath it, it's heavy. 
move the chair back and forth on the runner. This will ensure you get much better bolt access. You can see here that underneath the bolt there is a locking mechanism which locks the seat in position when going forward. This is a safety feature. Slide the seat back and forward to get access to the bolts. Don't forget to pump the seat all the way up before you try to swivel it for the first time. Now that you're done and you know the seat is fully pumped up, the highest setting, you can pull the lever and swivel it round. It should look like this. That's a handy place to eat lunch or maybe do some work on the laptop. Now that you should be able to spin your swivel chair 180 degrees, the swivel is super easy to spin. Just lift the lever, spin, drop the armrests and enjoy your new armchair. Thanks for watching. Why don't you click the subscribe button? You can get notified when we release one of our next coming videos. You want to see how we made our IKEA campervan kitchen pod hack? Click the subscribe button and get notified when it comes out.